Hey guys, I think it's time to uh, now recognize another NFL team that's been doing their thing and they really haven't gotten that much uh, credit really until today and even from some uh, uh, NFL analysts as well. And that's uh, just congratulating the uh, Carolina Panthers today for uh, going out there in San Francisco. We're just to be honest with you, just putting it to them. The Something that I noticed about the Panthers and it was even during the preseason. For um, some of the Panther fans, you guys will know this, but when they played against Baltimore, and this is the way that defense was playing, this that game, and I'm talking about their, I think that either the second or third game of the preseason. This is the way they were playing against Baltimore. Something told me it was like, man, if these guys can stay healthy, and John Rudin mentioned it too, those guys can stay healthy. They could be a factor in that division. And right now, sure enough, hey. Five straight wins right now. And then, uh, come on, I think it's time to get um, off Cam Newton's back as far as uh, the type of quarterback he's uh, doing. I mean, let's be honest, his first two games in the NFL, he sets records. I mean, you know, he broke rookie records. I mean, I think he broke the uh, passing yardage record uh, two years ago as a rookie. So, I mean, and then people talk about he had a bad year last year, but, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I think he still threw for over 3,000 yards, and that's not a given in the NFL. So just get off this man's back. And, um, again, recognizing the defense, uh, they just stay healthy, and that's what happens when they can stay healthy. Uh, excellent front seven, hands down. And, yeah, they're going to make some noise in that division because Atlanta's having a down year, Tampa Bay stinking up a storm. Uh, the Saints are doing what they can do, but it's going to be interesting when they play against the uh, Panthers. I can't remember if they played against each other or not. I don't remember. So uh, forgive me if they uh, have or have not. I'm not too sure. I'm not an expert. I just uh, sit back and just, uh, just observe what's going on. I mean, I do have my own, own little background playing football, playing high school, college, and uh, semi-pro as well, being off the lineman. So there's some stuff I like to observe during the uh, season as well. And that's also, too, a testament to um, that team that's been working on the craft over the last uh, couple of years, even though they had some young guys that had a lot of injuries. But they've just been working on the craft over the last couple of years. Like, for example, I know I've been working on my craft just going ahead in front of here, the camera, and uh, speaking. Because, for example, I was able to, uh, tonight when I went over to Sunday service, I was able to help uh, lead Psalms. And I never lead Psalms before, even though it's a small group for a, uh, uh, Sunday service, but this coming in front of a camera over the last few months and this, uh, this speaking from uh, running from what I observed too, and uh, this little bit of my own background, it, it just helps out. It, my point is, that's what the Panthers have been doing themselves as far as uh, working on their craft. It, you know, so, so even though it's like really also staying healthy, it was a huge part too. But you know, you just run, if you run the ball, you play good defense, you're going to win the game. Probably nine out of ten times in the NFL. It, that's the main thing. Uh, also, don't turn over the ball. So, yeah, huge win right now. And then they were saying, "Oh man, they had they had not won at that time against a team that had a winning record." Well, guess what? You went to San Francisco and uh, put it to them. So, uh, I, you remember the people remember the movie Any Given Sunday? That's really what it means when it comes down to the NFL. It's Any Given Sunday. People can joke around about, "Oh, a college team can beat." The worst team in the NFL. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, we all love joking about it, but in all seriousness, no. Uh, it's never going to happen because uh, it, that, that's the reason why you have no idea who's going to show up. Look, for example, look what happened uh, with the Jaguars. They got their first win, and I'm sitting right here in Jacksonville. So I know I have people on my uh, Facebook going crazy, the quote-unquote Jaguar fans. But, you know, they're just repping the city. So, uh I mean, again, just get paying tribute to uh, the Panthers. And, hey, right now they're the hottest team in the NFL. So let's just uh, get ready to see how the season's going to play out. So I'll talk to you guys later.